Hi guys, this is Justin from Guitar Made Easy again, and today I'm going to teach you everything that you need to know about the D chord. Uh, the D chord, what it looks like in sheet music books, tablature books, uh, online, in tab, uh, it's basically just an uppercase D. And there's nothing next to it, it's a D major chord. Whenever you see nothing next to a, a letter like that, it's a major chord. Um, if you see a 7 next to it, or a 5, that's a 7th chord, or a 5th or a chord, uh, if there's an, a lowercase m or an uppercase m next to it, that's a minor chord. If there's nothing next to it, it's a major chord. So, um, a D chord is, is one of the most common uh, uh, chords used in music when I'm talking about playing guitar and campfire songs or American Pie, Brown Eyed Girl, um, some of the most popular songs that you'd uh, hear on guitar. Um, basically, this is what it looks like when it comes to the chord shape. Uh, there's a couple variations that uh, that people, um, guitar teachers, uh, books teach out there, but the most common is this one right here. Um, what it is, is I'm taking my middle finger and, and I'm putting that on the second fret on the E string. I'm taking my ring finger, putting that on the third fret, the B string, taking my pointer finger, putting it on the second fret, the G string, and then I'm leaving this string open. These strings right here, the E and the A, do not get played at all. So when you learn how to strum this chord, make sure you practice not strumming all the chord, all, I'm sorry, all the strings, but just strumming these four strings right here. So this is what it sounds like. That's all four strings right there. Okay? And now if I strummed all the strings on my guitar, this is what it would sound like doesn't necessarily sound the best. Sometimes I've seen in music, and this is also part of the, part of the actual, uh, it can be part of the chord, I guess, uh, but sometimes people will take their thumb and put it on that second fret, and you get this sound. So that right there can be part of a, a D chord, but it's not usually used. When I'm talking about all the popular music that you see online, and, and pretty much every song out there, it's this. Another variation of this, uh, of this chord right here is that sometimes people will uh, take the middle finger out of the chord. So they'll basically just play these three strings, which is the G, the B, and, or the G, the D, the, I'm sorry, the D, the G, and the B. So right there. So all they're doing is going, and that's kind of like an ACDC chord or like a, a, like, almost like a power chord. It has that really uh, powerful feeling. Um, another thing you'll see in music a lot too is this has to do with a D suspended chord. And what you're doing is you're basically adding on or suspending your, pink, your pinky onto um, the third fret E string. So uh, a lot of songs use this when they're playing in a regular chord progression. They'll do something like this. And all I'm doing is I'm basically, I have a regular D chord. And then I put my pinky on the third fret E string. And then I'm going back to D. And then I'm taking my middle finger off and strumming it the same way. So that's another really uh, commonly used uh, variation you'll see of D. Um, aside from that, that's the D chord. And this is the chord that I want you to learn when it comes to learning bass guitar chords. This is everything you need to know about D uh, for right now. And this is, uh, I guess, probably the best uh, basis. Uh, for what you need to know in terms of learning your chords. So thanks again, and uh, look out for my other lessons on other uh, guitar chords out there. And if you have any questions, any feedback, uh, let me know. Um, thanks again for watching, and uh, that's about it. Thanks.